So it says know your limits. I know mine and I have no business doing this. Hey all, Roan Town Girl here. Well, we've made it to the next location, which are the cliff dwellings at Walnut Canyon. And I am doing this at the very beginning because it's all stairs. But I want to do it because we are going to get to go up close and inside some of the dwellings. So I definitely want to show you that. So I figure better to do it now when I'm not huffing and puffing. And on my way back, I'm sure this bench and I are going to become best friends. Yes, I have water. And I think nature's going to provide some water too. Yay, clouds! Wow, look how pretty. I think I finished the majority of the stair, so that's good until it's time to do the return flight. But for now, I'm just going to enjoy that I think it's a lot of flat walking. Now those are the kind of instructions I can follow. Looks like I spoke too soon. Just in time, it's starting to rain. See? Perfect shelter. Isn't this fantastic? getting wobbly and there's no more rail to hold on to right now. Oh boy, it's a really pretty walk too. <sighs> I was holding my breath <laughs> so you wouldn't hear me huffing and puffing while I shot that. I'm so in trouble when the zombie apocalypse happens. They're gonna get me. I have no stamina. I don't know if I should be concerned about the people behind me are no longer behind me. I think they got freaked out by the rain. <laughs> but it stopped now. I was kind of counting on them a lot. If I like pass out or something, at least they'll come up on my body. There's some cave dwellings across the way. I gotta go so slow. I'm, I'm fatigued and wobbly, and there's no rail. I wish they would have more rails. Oh, lizard. is either to be put in the video or if my body fell over the side at least they'll see what the last thing I filmed was before I met my demise. <laughs> I think perhaps we are beginning the ascension portion of the trail.
Stand by for more huffing and puffing. Okay, and that concludes our cave dwelling portion of the tour. Now we make our way back up all those stairs to get back to the visitor center and the RV and the dogs. And if I survive without needing emergency oxygen. You know, I have a can of emergency oxygen. I should have brought it. I think there's 273 stairs to contend with. Wish me luck. Check out those big rocks behind me. I wouldn't want to be around when one of those fall. I guess that uh, if it's your time to go, it really is your time to go. Right there. Yikes. Okay, so we are here and we are going there. God, no, go away. Yellow jacket. That's not what I want flying around me on this walk. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we're back at this sign. So I started at 12.04 and it's 12.50. I'm gonna have to do the math and edit that in in text because <laughs> I can't think straight right now. I've got to conserve all my energy, both mental and physical, to get back up all these stairs. <laughs> okay, no camera. I gotta hang onto the rail, take lots of breaks. And just keep breathing. <laughs> I'll see you up there. Okay, I think I'm really close to being done. I just wanted to show you. <laughs> I'm the only one huffing and puffing like this. Even the lovely elderly people don't have as hard a time breathing as I do. But I'm sure I have some respiratory thing. And maybe because I have a bunch of extra pounds on me too. That's probably not helping. <laughs> I got up to do the rest of what I had to do and look, look, we're almost there. Okay, official start time, 12.04. Official stop time, 1.06. I did it in about an hour. And there isn't a person who could be more out of shape and have a harder time breathing. And I stopped and took pictures and video all along the way too. So that gives you an idea of what to expect. What an accomplishment, huh? I am so proud of myself. And now I think I earned some lunch. And I was a smarty pants. I uh, left the generator and the AC on. It's gonna be so nice and cool when I go inside. <laughs> See you next time. <laughs>